You have been working with number patterns for many, many years. And you started with just adding a little term every single time. So for instance, you start with two, and then you'll add three, and then you'll add three, and you'll add three, and ultimately you'll form a number pattern. Then later you learned how to subtract, and then later you learned how to multiply and divide to get to new terms as well. And then even much, much later, you started working with formulas, and you ended up with quadratic formulas that will use the specific position of a term to find the value. So you'll build a number pattern based specifically on formulas. But then also, you will find number patterns such as the ones that we've got over here, where, for instance, if you look at the first two terms, that will then give you a mechanism to find the third term. Now, I'm not going to do that specific number pattern right now. I'm going to use a much more uh, common or well-known number pattern to illustrate the concept. And that's called the Fibonacci sequence. So if you start with one and one, and this is the thing about this type of number sentence or number pattern, it's, uh, it's called recursive because you don't use one term to find the next term or the position of a specific term to find the value of that term as you would do in formulas. What you do with a recursive number pattern is you need two terms. You need to start with two terms, not just one, two terms. And the Fibonacci sequence starts with one and one. And then you add them and you'll get two. Then you add again the last two terms, which will then give you three. And then again, add the last two terms, which will then give you five. And so on and so on. Five plus three is eight. 8 plus 5 is 13, and so forth. And that specific number pattern is called the Fibonacci sequence. Very, very well-known uh, number sequence. You can actually Google it, and you'll find a lot of information about how interesting the Fibonacci sequence is. The uh, bottom line is actually that you need to understand that there are number patterns known as recursive number patterns, of which the Fibonacci sequence is one, and this question also involves a recursive uh, number pattern.